Is he asleep? No, no. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Doctor Who Sleep No More, the ninth episode of Series 9, is written by Mark Gatiss and starring Peter Capaldi and Jenna Coleman. So this is a found footage episode, which sounds like a good idea, and the first episode not to use the title sequence. The text for the title of this episode has appeared in the closing credits. So this episode sets in the various space station. Throughout this episode, Gaga Rasmussen, who's a scientist, films himself on camera telling us what happened in this episode, and he's played by Reese Shearsmith, which I think he did a great job. Reese also played Patrick Troughton in Adventure of Space and Time. Elaine Tan plays Jaginth Daikita Nagata, a human military rescue team leader who are investigating the loss of contacts with the Leave Area space station in orbit around Neptune. Needs Mohan, Bethany Black, Paul Courtney Yu played Chopra 474 and Steve Ando who are the rescue team. There's great casting here. Bethany was the first openly transgender to appear in Doctor Who and she's a fan of the show and Marvel. Like me, which is awesome. There's a Q&A video which is nice to watch and I think she's a great actress, I really do. So the team finds the Doctor and Clara wandering around and talking as they look at the Morpheus pod. We get the song of Mr. Sandman with hologram appears, which fits in with the episode. As Clara got wired and the doctor got her out, he figures out that the Sandman, not that Sandman, there we go, a humanoid sleep dust made by sleep dust, which I thought they're pretty cool creatures. I do like the concept of it. As Haruka Deepando was desperate to get through the door, away from Sandman, the computer wanting him to sing Mr. Sandman like a voice code to open the door was amusing. And the computer actually reminds me of GLaDOS from Portal 2, which is cool. As he sung, the door opened and he's through. Even after the doctor points out that Gag and Rasmussen is making a mistake, he goes to control panel, but he ends up getting shot. As the doctor and Clara are to the toss, getting away from Sandman, he says nothing makes sense and everyone die except for the Doctor and Clara and Gargan. But his team materialised, Gargan revealed to be Sandman. The effects looked horrifying. So, that's Sleep No More. I like the idea found footage episode and play around with it. Apparently there was going to be a sequel to that episode, but it got scrapped, which I'll talk about in Empress of Mars retrospective. What did you think of Sleep No More? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Mr. Sandman, bring me a drink.